this right here, my therapy. I do this for my therapy. Gonna do man, we're gonna bring this dog food in. We're gonna show y'all how we prepare uh, for the next few weeks, how much we feed the pups. So uh yeah, stay tuned to the next set. Alright y'all, <clears throat> we got the raw inside the house. Uh I just want to show y'all how it's packaged. This is the company we use right here. Raw and Kibble. They out of uh they out of Florida, they have a few locations in Florida. So let's open this up man, show y'all how it's packaged. And then we'll go ahead and show you how I break it down and we'll show you. This is the kibble that I use. Open farm lamb recipe. Uh, this is really good. I have one pup, but one dog, Reese, she has allergies. And uh, the the uh, the victor just made her itch, made her break out. Uh, no shade towards Victor because like I used it for a long time, but uh this is really uh, a good, good source of kibble you can give your pups, y'all. Not cheap, but when you're feeding raw, you only need a little bit of kibble with it. And, you know, the raw has mostly everything that they need. All the organ and bone and everything else. Alright, y'all. And here's the raw. I usually order about 10 to 15 at a time. Uh, it'll last about two weeks. Uh... But yeah, it's just a beef. They also have duck and a couple other meats. But as you can see, if I can get this to focus in. You see it has everything in it. Now this is nothing like the beef you go buy at the food line in Walmart, y'all. Please don't get it confused. This is what you want to feed your dog. Your Frenchies, bullies, whatever. You want to go ahead and get the beef that has the bone and the kidney and the spleen and the lung. And all the ingredients that your dog needs. It comes pretty frozen, but it's not like solid froze. So we're going to show y'all how we prepare this up uh, for the next couple weeks. So each one of my dogs, adult dogs, they get about 100 grams. I feed them twice a day. And I know a lot of people say raw is real tedious and it's just too much. It is a lot. I'm not going to lie, y'all. It's a lot, but the quality of life that your dog re receives from uh, feeding them this, I think it far outweighs the little bit of extra work that you got to do. And if you properly prepare your raw, and you got to think, I got eight dogs in here. So if you properly prepare your raw, the process is much, much easier. I mean, if you work a full-time job, I kind of understand. Yeah, it's a lot to do, but me... I'm medically retired from the military, so like I'm here with my dogs 24-7, so this is part of my everyday job process is to make sure I feed my dogs the highest quality food they can get so they can produce the highest quality pups for you all, man. So um, I'm going to cut this up in about nine slices. I'm pretty good with it now, so I cut this up about nine slices, clean and a half. You're going to need a scale to weigh it. I usually put a little bit of foil on top of the scale and uh, a little bit of Pam to spray it on there so the meat doesn't stick. You're going to need some freezer Ziploc bags and this any type of regular sandwich bags or whatever you want to store your raw in. I know some people use containers but man I'm old school. Alright so I'll go ahead and get this first one sliced open. We're going to show you how I slice it open and weighed up and then the next time you see we'll have all of this raw prepared on the table. We'll show you a layout of that, <clears throat> and then we'll uh, go ahead and bag it up, place it in the freezer, and we also feed our puppies. Uh, we also feed our puppies uh, raw as well. Um, once they get any any pup that's under three months, I wouldn't feed them the raw with the bone and everything else in it. You can get, also they also sell a raw that's uh, just beef. It has no bone or anything like that in it. All right, y'all. Got the raw broke down. Just wanted to show y'all real quick what it kind of come out like. Still pretty solid, pretty froze. Uh, camera got my scale going crazy, but let's see how close I am to 100 grams. This is about a one, 123. Just pinch the extra off. Zero it out. Uh, 
100 grams of raw twice a day. All right, y'all, we got that first roll broke down. So while, while I'm weighing it out, we got Ty. He putting it in the bag. After we get it all bagged up, we're going to put them in storage bags, put them in the freezer, take them out the night before. I mean, it's too easy, y'all. All right, y'all, real quick. I just wanted to show y'all how we feed the pups, what we put in their food. Uh, just a little bit of kibble. Now, this is going to be for two pups for each bowl. So it's a little bit more than if you were just going to give it to one pup. But like I said, it's 100 grams of raw. Uh, we also add in the gut guard, which is great, great for their guts. And we also put the primal goat milk. Now, this is a new one uh, I'm trying out the pumpkin spice. It's got pumpkin and ginger in it. Uh, we usually use the regular goat milk, and I usually add a little bit of uh, pumpkin. Make sure you use a pure pumpkin, though, not the pie filling. And um, what I do is I'll split this 100 grams in half. I split that 100 grams up like that. Then I split it again. Now, mine is not going to be completely exact. Each pup is not going to get exactly 25 grams. But if you're already doing raw, then you know how tedious it is. So you just want to get as close. You know, they really should get about 30 grams three times a day. But like I said, 25 is pretty close. And it makes it uh, just a little bit easier to do your measurements and prepare your raw dog food for the month, for the week. Uh, I usually prepare it for about half the month, so about for about two weeks. I usually prepare it, and then when I get to that last, the end of that last week, I order more and do my deworming. Now, make sure if you're going to be feeding your dogs raw, make sure that you deworm your pups, guys. Let me turn my mic on so y'all can understand me. If you feed your dogs raw, make sure you're deworming them regularly. Regular hard worm, regular dewormer should be part of their regiment. It's a little bit more, but yeah, it's the price you pay when you want to feed your dogs raw. Pups out a lot of meat. Uh, it's that first time trying the new goat milk. But I just want y'all to uh, see how much they love this, y'all. I know some people say they, their dogs don't like the raw, don't eat raw. Watch this right here. All right, here they go. As you can see, they turn it up, y'all. They love it. Look at them. All right, all right, let's. All right, so we're gonna get the other two pups out and get them fed. Just wanted y'all to see. Did they do really good on this? Their poop, and they don't have runny poop at all. Like their poop is solid after eating uh, raw. But you do, just, you do just need to stay on top of your deworming, man, and your heart worm. But other than that, way better. They shed less. And really my top reasons is that they shed less. Their eyes are brighter. Uh, they have more energy, they poop less, uh, and it's just overall better for them, y'all. And then this is not exactly how I feed my adult dogs, so I don't know, drop in the comments below if y'all want me to make another raw feed, know how I feed my adult dogs, just let me know and, uh, and I'll drop that video too. Yeah, and yes, I sleep and smoke in my grand.